Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a, just a little while since I created my last video and posted it. Actually, I probably will end up posting this uh, video on the same day. Um, this will be a stamping video. Uh, it was a requested video, so I decided to go ahead and get this one posted. Um, for those of you that don't know, stamping is where you will polish your nail and then use a stamping plate to transfer an image from the plate to your nail using stamping polish, a stamping pad, like a, a little jelly stamper, and you'll transfer that image from the uh, stamping plate to your finger. And it's a really cool process and I'm really excited about it. Um, I've been doing it now for a couple weeks and have fallen in love with it and hopefully you guys will get some knowledge off of this video and let's go ahead and get started with the video. As with every manicure I start off with a clear base coat. Today I'm using Sally Hansen's Color Therapy. I just use one coat of the clear coat and put down a thin layer. After that dries I come in with Zoya Mel and I put down the first coat and then let that dry completely and then I'll come back with a second coat on all ten nails. After the color has dried, I'll come back in with an SE Speed Setter top coat and apply one thin layer of the Speed Setter top coat and let that dry completely. For this part of it you have to work kind of quickly so I set everything up so that it's within reach. I've set down my stamper, my scraping uh, plate, my plate, and my nail polish so that it's all within reach. I take the cap off and get ready to put down my nail polish onto the plate. Just put down a little bit of polish onto the image that I want to pick up. Once the nail polish is on, I quickly pick up my scraper and scrape off any excess polish and then I set it to the side on a paper towel and quickly pick up my stamper and pick up the image before the nail polish has any time to dry. I tried to show you guys the image on the stamper but it didn't pick it up very well for you guys to see it. And then I apply it to the nail. You can either do that by just simply pushing down onto the nail or you can do it in a rocking motion and it doesn't take very long for the image to transfer, it just takes a split second for the image to transfer, but I tried to show you guys what I can do by either rocking back and forth or by just releasing it and pulling away. Then we're going to apply the No Smudge Top Coat by Maniology so that it uh, seals in the image that we've transferred to our nails. I went ahead and did all of my nails here so that's why you're seeing images on all the nails but I didn't want to have to take time to actually show you guys in the video but I'm applying the smudge proof top coat to all the nails here so that I seal in every nail.
And then finally I'm going to use Essie's uh, Speed Setter one last time to seal in everything and give it a final glossy sheen. Okay, now that you guys have seen the step-by-step -step process of actually putting the polish on, putting the stamp on, and then um, sealing it in with a top coat, uh, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below. You too can actually get uh, these kinds of images on your fingernails. Um, I'm actually a Maniology ambassador, and what that means is I have a code, which I will put up in the corner, um, using Jason G10, you can get 10% off of your stamping plates or polishes or anything off of their website, which is maniology.com. Again, that's Jason G10, and that'll get you 10% off of anything that you purchase on their website. So if you have any questions, just leave your comments down in the section below. Um, if you, uh, like this video and got anything out of it, definitely hit the like button. And if you want to come back and visit again, hit the subscribe button. Thanks. Hope you guys uh, have, stay safe and healthy out there. Love you guys. Bye.